I have always been here when the Indian community has gathered together. I believe so very much in your community. You have contributed so greatly, not just to the city of Passaic, to the county, to the state, to our country, and to the world. You know, as I was considering uh, Gayatri's words, and they were very impactful, whether referring to Helen Keller or uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, obviously Mahatma Gandhi and so many who decided to have uh, passive or nonviolent initiatives and approaches to ensuring freedoms and liberties. I was thinking this is so important because the greatest battle and conflict that we fight is within ourselves, as you mentioned. The evil within and to be independent of that is so important. Among the many things that have often and always inspired me of the great and wonderful Indian American communities and the contributions to this nation and to all of our cultures is that when it comes to speaking of those most valuable principles, those things that are intrinsically important, those things that sometimes aren't tangible, but without them we cannot live. That though we do not see them, we must have them. I consider that many times I come to events and people speak of those freedoms that are tangible, the freedoms that we need for ourselves, but it is rare very rare, and I'm gonna make it short because it looks like it might rain, but it is rare that you hear people speak beyond just themselves, but of the world, of preserving not just the people, but nature, but of the planet, of the trees, of the land, of animals, of those things beyond this world, those things that are spiritual. I so very much appreciate it because it reminds us to not be selfish to not consider what is only important for us. It is the great and wonderful Indian community that lifts up these values and reminds all other communities that you are not alone, that we cannot operate in silos, that no one can gain benefit simply for themselves and think that that is success or progress. That if there is progress for the world, it must be for everyone. It cannot be selfish. It is those amazing values that has always inspired me to constantly support the Indian community. In our city, as we see the advancements of education, the developments of gifted and talented schools, the remarkable contributions of professionals within different departments, like our police department with Officer Rana, who's standing here. How are you, Officer Rana? <laughs> or with uh, the superstar Pasek, who holds the highest office in administration, Sonal Patel. Yeah. She's always in the background. But she has made so many contributions and changes to the city. She holds, uh, I think we're celebrating uh, 78 years, she holds 78 uh, master's degrees. <laughs> Read her resume, it's amazing, it's so remarkably impressive, but her and her entire family have contributed greatly. But the reason why I mentioned Gayatri's um, specific uh, pointing to nonviolent um, initiatives is because as I as I often do I try to look up specific leaders and I ask for your help Raj might assist me with this particular pronunciation but there's a man who's referred to as the lion of Punjab Lala Lajpat Rai did I say it correct ah okay his quote is freedom is not given it is taken fight for your rights as I was considering this powerful quote, because if you wait on others to give you freedom, it is not necessarily within the best interest of others to give freedoms to those that they oppress. But as Gayatri was speaking, I was thinking, when we say fight, the connotation, what immediately comes to mind is physical. But in your speech, you reminded us that it is a greater fight. One that, of course, includes the physical. Brave men and women who are willing to shed blood, sacrifice their lives, stand up against oppression and tyranny. That will defend the vulnerable, those who do not have voices. That will go out to war, that will stand up for our nations and say, never again shall we be under the control of any other. We shall always remain free. But then there's a different kind of fight an intellectual fight, a spiritual fight, an emotional fight, a fight that comes from deep down from the most profound places of our souls, a fight that must be collective, a people that will never be divided, that no matter where they stand, whether here in Passaic, Clifton, Patterson, Wayne, New Jersey, America, around the world, whether Spain, Australia, the continent of Africa, a people, a strong and resilient Indian people that will say, wherever we are, our flag will be raised. Wherever we land, our children will be educated and become leaders. That is the true fight. That is an amazing fight or fight. And I stand with you in support. Yeah. I stand with you today as you raise your flag.
I stand with you today as you lift your community on high. I take this opportunity to acknowledge the Rana Samaj organization that throughout the year, whether it's Holly in the Park, whether it's different activities or different programs, are always making sure that your culture, that your heritage, that your community is acknowledged. I stand here along with someone that I refer to as my brother. Who, forgive me for this, because I know there are many leaders in the Indian community, but I have not found a greater advocate or champion in government for the wonderful Indian community than the director of the Passaic County Freeholders, John Bartlett. John Bartlett, who I served as a freeholder with, who I got to see become director, a remarkable mind, an intellectual that can be envied from every single level of government throughout the nation, a Harvard graduate, also graduated from Brown, and I think you studied in uh, Israel as well. I don't know what university he hasn't attended. He's taking classes everywhere. But what I most admire about John is like me, we fight for everyone because Rights, privileges, freedoms cannot be truly appreciated unless they are for all. Today we celebrate India's independence, observed annually on August 15th. On August 15th, 1947, India achieved freedom from over 200 years of British colonial rule. Today we celebrate 78 years of independence. The significance of this day lies in recognizing the struggle and resilience of those who fought for freedom, not only for a change in their time, but also for generations to come. This flag raising ceremony is a special occasion to celebrate Indian culture and tradition. The city of Pasek proudly acknowledges and values the significant contributions of the Indian community. Now, if I may, and you will allow me, a point of privilege to all the remarkable men who have stood up so strong with your organizations, with your celebrations, with your honoring of seniors, with your advocacy in terms of education and ensuring that our schools provide the highest quality of education to our students. I join with you in lifting up our community, but I pause to highlight the remarkable women in the Indian community. Let us give them an applause. You are often in the background as mothers, as wives, if I may, and John will correct me, as aunties, am I saying that appropriately? As aunties. You prepare programs, you pull men aside, sometimes by the shoulders, sometimes by the ears, and you tell them, not that direction, you can do this better, don't forget this. To all of you who are here on this stage, those who are the future leaders, the present leaders, and those who open the doors, who shattered the glass ceilings and who made opportunities available for others, for those who are seldom recognized, who seldom get in the pictures, who are seldom mentioned, I thank you because if culture is preserved, because if heritage is valued, it does not occur because of ceremonies, though they are important. It occurs every day when you care for your children as babies, when you nurture them, when you instill in them those important values, when you remind them, don't forget who you are. Don't forget your faith. Don't forget where we come from. Don't forget the sacrifices that we made to come to this country. Don't forget the struggles that we faced, the adversities that we had to overcome when we could not speak the language, where our accents sometimes, let's be honest, oftentimes are not appreciated, though we speak two or three languages and we were made fun of by those who could barely speak the one that they have. It is because of you, because of you who spend days working, nights cooking, and even later nights educating and making sure, do your homework, continue forward, go to college, get your career, be something great, contribute to this country so they know not just who you are, but who we are as a people. To all of you, the women of Indian heritage, as mayor of the city of Passaic, I thank you for being a bright, shining light in this city, in this nation, and in this world. God bless you. God bless the great Indian community. God bless the United States of America. Thank you so very much.